Sarah. Hello and welcome to Fanny Fine TV. If you are new here, please consider to subscribe, like, and share my video. In this video, I'll be sharing about symptoms of coronavirus, preventive measures that we can take. Looking at it from the Sierra Leone Ebola experience. How we as Sierra Leoneans can use transfer of knowledge to address this situation. Let not your heart be troubled because of coronavirus. Sierra Leoneans, this video, now for the one old one, but now for we, na Salon, I did do this video. Well, I did do this video, yeah, because of my experience, and so I get during the Ebola virus, and the lesson them we are learn, and we I believe, say, we for transfer the lesson in the pandis outbreak we don't can at the wall. So my phone always sabi me, una go no say I'm in the work na the Ministry of Social Welfare, gender and children's affairs, when the Ebola virus break. And we na been some of the frontline staff them, we mean they go around for like um, give food to the county houses them, homes them. And um, we mean they give we best sent in the I uh, uh, see people the way they die, I uh, see people the way they quarantine. And, tea. and um, I see a whole lot of things doing. We work, work as a social welfare officer. It not be easy for me at that time, but I not be no say psychologically it don't affect me. I not be no. Pass with this coronavirus coming. So like uh, deliberately I uh, they refuse to pay attention to it. We are the year people then they talk about the signs and symptoms. It just they bring me mind, conscious mind, waiting up on a salo and waiting I see. So I mean, find it difficult for even talk about it. So then and day, me picking can come on school and he can can say, "Mommy, they say the virus all rich here." Sometimes I can say, "Oh, it is well," because I was battling with something. Anytime she comes up with it, I always think about what happened to us in Sierra Leone and my experiences. So one of these days, one um. Apostle Malko. So he called me and um, we mean a talk as we are discussing. And then he he was telling me about this virus. So at that point, he's an elderly man and he's an apostle. And there is no way like I can say, like how I would do to my daughter, say, ah, okay, let's forget about this thing. So we kept on talking over the phone for over like 15 minutes. And he was say, hey, this is how it so then finally I was able to open up and say, this is what we went through in Sierra Leone. So I began to explain, narrate what happened. So we just say, eh, eh. So I realized that as I've been explained to her, I begin feeling relief a bit. Then I said to myself, I need to do a video and talk about it. So I was thinking about it and then I did a group, family, family chapel, vocational institute. I didn't have a WhatsApp group. So somebody post um, a, a, a video from the Honorable Minister of Education, uh, Honorable Dr. David um, Senge. I don't know him, he don't know me. I don't get any connection to him. So what are the cancer apart for part of me your experience and for just support what he don't say because he talked to the parents them and he talked to caregivers them and learn we be very careful. I will post the video so that you go watch and maybe you not be the watcher it. So when this message came in, I open them and I start for a listen. You don't know, I just pause them. Then I go back to bed. So I mean, it's time for check me messages the way I wake up. And um, I don't pray and all the rest. And um, I try for check me messages them. They are just a lot open and watch. So when I watch, I see the minister, they talk about um, the parent, them, the thing they, they don't put in place and all the rest. So that was the first time I even opened any video concerning coronavirus. If I tell you say the name, Steph, I know, I know, I know, I know grief or like land the name or whatever because of the Ebola experience when I go through. That also opened my eye for, for no say. We, the social workers, them, we've been working ten and day. We also need psycho counseling because that thing affects me so much that 
I know be know the effect they get on me until this virus can. I refuse for talk about it. I do always see that Ebola, that Max, and in me quiet moment, so I was struggling. But so as I think of it throughout the day, then my brother just send me a message. He said, Ah, sis, this this coronavirus, it don't see you so. Then I say, Yes, I'm thinking of doing a video. And then he sent a message to me, yes. So I'm just speaking out my mind. And I want to say, let not your heart be troubled. First of all, I want to share with you, Papa God in word. John chapter 14, verse 27. It says, peace I live with you. My peace I give. I do not give peace to you as the world. Do not let your heart be troubled. And do not be afraid. Amen. So Jesus been a comfort in disciples them. So also I say to every Sierra Leonean out there. Especially the one they were in a saloon. Do not let your heart be troubled. And do not be afraid. Why? Because wait till we don't go through the Ebola. We don't learn lesson. And that lesson that we don't learn. We Sierra Leoneans, we are resilient people. We are hardworking and clever people. And I believe, say, whatever happened in ten and day, and day, we know we know. Say, this kind of thing will come again. So we, in fact, the world for make we, for be the, 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 the ambassador, for preach and teach people them, waiting for do at this time. Also, I want to share with you from a scripture where the Lord also laid on my heart as I think of doing this video. Regarding fear because at this is now just like how ebola being grip the country with fear i tell you now some of them thing they were married nobody they dated so then they are killing me veranda i they see like the spirit of death and they see ghost then they the way nobody know they go out i can just see everywhere clear so that then they begin not doing that all of them thing they affect me mind and now are they able for talk about my experience Psalm 46, verse 1, I go read. It says, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way, and the mountain fall into the heart of the sea. I want to stress on God is our refuge. Amen. Sarah Leonians, Salon people them. We not say God now we refuge. In way do and for we na Ebola. It go do and for we also in this corona season. Amen. I not come for preach, but I just want for encourage you with them scriptures there. As a nation, lose focus on the wider picture and just concentrate on the virus. God will save Mama Salo. God will help we. Go help we again. Let not your heart be troubled. Yes. This thing is a whole, now the whole world business. Not a salon no more. We don't go stay on a salon on our West Africa. This is a world threatening disease. This is a world health. This is not just public. Now world health emergency. And all these are signs of the last days. Oh yes. We therefore be very careful even as we they live with life. Me fumble them. Mm? Let we not panic. God will do one for we. Go do one again. It will save the country. Yes. God will help we. According to me, he says some of the symptoms of the coronavirus. Running nose. Sore throat. Cough. Fever. Difficult in breathing where it don't become very severe. For say all this was similar to that of Ebola. And the precaution they will for take is similar to that of Ebola. So some lesson eh, where I mean learn where I want for share with we all. And I believe say some of us have learned some of the lesson there. Yeah. Where we can still apply them. Number one lesson from Ebola where we can apply. Don't be in denial. 
No denying say in all day. Now so some people be they deny Ebola. In all day, na lie in the lie. No, no denying. Believe say it day. Number two, hand washing. Hand washing. We also applicable in this term of Corona. So let we continue with safety precaution them. We safety precaution the winner for what we are. Avoid handshake because as students say, we remember the Ebola term, avoid handshake. Cover with mouth and with nose, where we the cough. Avoid, crowd, avoid crowded places, as they say. Hmm. I tell you, make a member where they stop. No prayer, no this, no gathering. It will be easy. May God not make we come to reach to that point today again in Jesus' name. Number three. Report suspected symptoms or signs where you go see. Not keep an us. Go na hospital. Not keep an us. Yeah? The next point. No left everything na the NGO or the government or the health worker they earn. Take charge of your life. Take charge of your health. In um, washing your hands. When the cough, because I understand say the coronavirus they enter through the openings where you know so you much you hear. So take them safety precaution there, yeah? and I believe say God go help we. The God of Sierra Leone that heal and deliver us from Ebola is still alive and can deliver the world from coronavirus. No matter what the name is called, it is all from the pit of hell. And God will deliver us as a nation, as a people. Let's continue to pray. And I extend my sympathy to all the families, all the ones that have lost their loved ones to coronavirus. And as Sarah Leonians, I they join me voice to the voice to the Minister of Basic and Senior Secondary School Education, Honorable, Honorable Dr. David Senge, a message where he sent to parents, um, to caregivers, and to the one that wouldn't deal with speaking. I they rub much from this because me, me involved in the educational sector in Salon. I they rub much from this because me a child protection officer. I don't work with speaking them because on certain day we can neglect the speaking them. We can just concentrate on we the baby guan them. But no, at this time we for also pay attention to the picking them. Even even though um, report not to show it say plenty plenty picking they don't die, but picking them can die out of the coronavirus. Easily jumps can easily spread through picking them whether they play or whatever. And we are we as caregivers them parents teachers community workers. For pay attention, parenting there, so for them picking them. Me fambulem, me na Dr. David Moyni na Senge, me na the Minister for Basic and Senior Secondary Education, na Salon. Today, I want to talk to you about how we keep we school them and we school picking them safe in disaster, but in particular. With this coronavirus within the world now, the all side, the Boku side, then, how we go able for protect with picking them so that book learning will go before and now for make sure say we school like a safe environment. Some of the things that we don't do as a ministry, we don't activate with school safety protocol. Each school in this country will train at least two people then on how to engage. For make me picking them wash their hand, who side they wash their hand, they take them temperature every morning when they go to school, and if they get high fever, we how they isolate them um, so that they go able to get treatment and for, for monitor them. Today we don't train all the district director then, the deputy district director then from all over the country. We bring them with the Office of National Security, with the Ministry of Health and Sanitation, with the Boku Boku partner then. We bring them can so that they go understand and prepare for disaster risk um, reduction. That means say, how for limit disaster then. And Pantap Dandy, we ministry down the work with City Service Commission for make sure say, that school radio program will be in get tra day, tra day. We don't begin for um, uh, work with teacher then, for make me then, they um, 
give we new material then for do online and um, radio training for the Bambai if we need for dinner host for example we want to help and this business here and now this you can do every morning before you begin come on a host now for washing hand make sure say you begin washing hand before you come on a host because we can't ask school back with the make sure say a washing hand we can't ask school we're going to host now for make me washing hand if you begin get boku fever um now for not send on school now for make sure say you take and go na hospital um and follow the process day or now for make sure say keep on a host and monitor in fever but if you get high fever not send on at school so they look to now for work with we because if we picking them get a uh, well body now we all commit to get well body and we want for make sure say the picking and then at the school and then safe and then secure and then the land Maybe this is your first time of watching my video. Please consider to subscribe, like, and share my video. 